Hey yo, what's up dude pare? We are having a first right now in this video here in Reagan's Rides channel. We are driving the Hyundai Stargazer. You can see that one in front. And uh, we are in the Queen City of the South. We are here in Cebu. The fantastic island of Cebu. And we have, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> we have my good friend here, Ju of Soju Cars. And uh, we have Brian of Cebu Daily News. And uh, we have Carl. Okay, uh, Sorry. Sorry, get, get. We have Carl from Know Your Drive Philippines. Know Your Drive Philippines. And a very noisy radio. I'm gonna <laughs> silent you there. Anyway, dude, pare, just, um, yeah. Stay tuned because we are going to show you what it's like to go on a road trip with your Barcada in the Hyundai Stargazer. Let's do this. All right, dude, pare. So, as I said, we are driving here in Cebu. Now, before we begin this, uh, this you know, this chat with you guys, uh, guys, could you invite them to subscribe to your uh, platforms and channels? So start with Ju. Go, Ju. Please do subscribe to my channel, even though we are completely dark here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please do follow me in Instagram, Soju Cars, and also in TikTok. Kamsamnida. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po. Mahal ko kayo. Okay, that's you, and then we have uh, Brian. Yes, C CDN Digital. Please follow our Facebook page and other social media accounts. CDN Digital. You are that, guys. Uh, CDN Digital, and uh, we have Carl. Hi, uh, please follow us on Know Your Drive Philippines and all our social media platform. And thank you, guys. Uh, we're happy to be here to uh, have you in school. Yep. So there you go. Know Your Drive Philippines. Yes. Yes, uh, Cebu Daily News and of course Ju Soju Cars. And if you have a little bit of time left, please also follow Reagan's Rides on all of my platforms YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Now, dude, pare, check it out, we're in Cebu. Damn! <laughs> and we have uh, two Cebuanos here at the back. No, Brian and Carl are from Cebu, right, guys? Yeah. Yes, we're the Titos of Cebu. <laughs> yes, Titos of Cebu. <laughs> and that means that we won't have any problems with getting lost here yes, because... No. Yeah. yeah. Food trip, um, like road trip, that's us. Food trip, road trip. And that brings us to our topic for today's video. That's taking the Hyundai Stargazer on a road trip here in Cebu. So, let's uh, get started, guys. Let's start with uh, Brian and Carl. How's the comfort there at the back, guys? Uh, right compliant is good. Um, uh, it's taking on, uh, it's soaking up bumps well. Uh, if you notice, there's a little bit of uh, imperfections on, on, on the road right now, but it's it's taking it well. It's it's good. Yeah, you know, it's it is. It, it's a very comfortable ride. It is back here, and yeah, it's yeah, not, also the legroom, room, no? Yeah, legroom room. and headroom. I mean, I'm not that's exactly right. tall, but this is. That's why we're okay with not driving. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is like a, this this media drive with Hyundai Philippines is a six-hour drive uh, thereabouts. Um, yeah, but it's I think it's just gonna be me and the uh, Jew will be driving. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So our good friends like at the you back. We experience the Cebuano hospitality. So <laughs> there you go by making us your uh, yes. your your personal driver. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I want you guys also to experience how uh, Manila drivers drive. Yeah, I mean, yes, vice <laughs> versa. This is a good experience. Yes, yes. Experience from, both, uh, from, from both uh, parts yeah, of uh, from Manila both Africa. sides. Yes. yes, yes. And I did notice that uh, a lot of uh, drivers here in Cebu are using their turn signals, which is great. Yeah. Something that. Most part, yes. yes. Most, most part, part. Yes, yes. yes. And I think they're a little bit more uh, courteous and respectful on the road than uh, you Manila drivers. Seen no, you haven't seen <laughs> Maybe give it um, maybe 3 p.m., 4 p.m. or 5 okay. p.m. as the traffic uh, congest. But uh, in the general sense of the word, I think Cebuano drivers are more... Uh, relaxed. Relaxed. I yeah. yeah I, I feel it. I feel that there's more of a relaxed vibe here in, uh, here in Cebu than in Manila. I mean, in Manila, everyone's just in a hurry. You know, but another thing about the Hyundai Stargazer is that it's so quiet, right? It's so quiet, yeah. The NVH is really good. 
NVH is so good guys I mean this is my first time driving the Stargazer on a long drive uh, first time I drove it ever was during the launch and it was just inside the village but now driving it at 70 kilometers per hour here on this Cebuano highway uh, it's very quiet it is so quiet so comfortable it's so comfortable that my friend Ju is already very quiet here <laughs> yeah I'm doing work doing work <laughs> uh, on your side to the left that's uh, the newest uh, luxury hotel in Cebu okay new star um, it's going to be rated uh, wow. six star in, 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 uh, in the south so, nice yeah so this is one of our newest uh, landmarks here wow it's so cool Naka sport mode ka na? Yeah, sport okay, mode to. Go, go, go. But you, you know what I noticed about this also, the Stargazer? At ano, at uh, triple digit speeds, it's it's quieter. The wind you're, noise... You're doing triple digit huh? Yeah, we're at 92 90? now at the curb. Yeah, we're 95, yeah. Going up to the... It's banking on really nice. It doesn't lean too well. Yeah, handling is really good for an MPV. It's fantastic. And it's quieter, much quieter than the... Sorry to say, the expander car. fans. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's much quieter than the Mitsubishi Expander because that MPV above 70 kph on the highway it gets a little bit noisy when it comes to wind noise do you know why exactly? because of the coefficient of no. drag it's not, it's not no. that aerodynamic no. what? 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 because what? <laughs> because it expands uh, ah. <laughs> which which expands? the, the, the bumper, the tire, <laughs> the hood oh, nga naman. the it's dynamic an shield the dynamic shield expands <laughs> <laughs> now you know you know there are some people who don't really like the design of the Stargaze because it looks like an egg. But I feel like to, be, to, be, to be honest, at yeah. first yes, yes, it, it does. It, yeah, it, but it, that I shape has a uh, purpose. Up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. That's yeah. an advantage. Also, yeah, the, the the shape is an advantage because it cuts through the wind easier, right? So yeah. So those of you who don't like the shape, well, it it's a, it's a purpose. So purpose. I think it. Uh, the design really grows on you as, mm -hmm. you, as you, you know, live with it uh, day by day. Yes. Um, I think if, uh, I mean, Joe, I don't know if uh, you would uh, agree, but the design language of Hyundai is going towards this. The new Kia, the, the upcoming Kia Kona, mm -hmm. almost has the same design mm. on the front end. So I think this is the future design of, yeah. um, of thinking forward for Hyundai, I guess. Yeah, well, there's, if there's one thing that we can all agree on, it's very futuristic look. It is. It's, it's futuristic. very futuristic look. Love it or hate it, it's yes. futuristic. Whether, the next question, whether that design will, test, will stand the test of time, that's another story. Yes, yes. But, well, uh, the, the, the Toyota Previa also looks like this yeah, before. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so that's an old car. Yeah, but on the driver's side, uh, as I'm driving it, I love that the steering, I know it's a little bit on the light side, but the steering feel, it really makes the Stargazer easier to drive. And you won't feel tired after driving it for a long, long drive, no? Hello, yeah. James Dickey. <laughs> Why there's James Dickey is there? You're not here in the car, but you're there. <laughs> you, you know, you know, dude, that is one of my dreams, which is to have a billboard, my billboard, <laughs> on, a, yeah, on a highway here in the Philippines. So guys, subscribe to Reagan's Rights. Help me reach over 100,000 <laughs> subscribers so that I have a billboard. <laughs> yeah. So power is adequate. Sport mode, we were able to go up to triple digit speeds quite easily. So when you're overtaking on provincial highways, it's not gonna be a problem. Another plus factor for the Stargazer. Yeah. So, uh, okay. action. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, I mean, I know you're you're being Korean, dude. You're I'm sure you're really proud of Hyundai. Yeah. As a car company. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Aside from being Korean. I'm proud of it because uh, it's been well received by the local citizens here in the Philippines and not just here in the Philippines but all over the world. Mm. And what you see here is not everything of Hyundai. Yeah. When you go to Korea, I'm so sure many, many others, of you went yeah. to Korea. Mm. You have fantastic models that you dream to have here in the Philippines. It's just that it's not uh, 
looking at the business side, mm. it might not be the best uh, decision. What do you mean by? Because uh, we have to think of many things. Uh, taxes, especially the price, cutting the cost yeah. by uh, changing some of the options, which we would love to have. Yes. yes. So it's not really worth it. So that's one thing that I feel a bit uh, sad and good at the same time, since not everyone can afford all those features. And now to make that simple question, <laughs> the simple question of why am I proud of Hyundai as a Korean? Of course, it's a uh, it's nationalism. Yes, and they do a lot of good things for Korea and also the rest of the world. Yes, and they are making cars that look futuristic that uh, follows the tagline make the future move you and yeah I think that's exactly what they are doing even the name yes so yes I'm proud ah, it's good to know and of course we have our uh, our friends our Cebuano friends at the back and I, I want to ask you guys not the same question but you know being from Cebu and uh, I mean being a, a, a Manila guy like me uh, we've always known that uh, Cebu has been known for Cebu Lechon. But other than Cebu Lechon, what is it that about Cebu that you guys are really like proud of? You know? Yeah, for me, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a very beachy guy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we're... we're sorry, sorry, I, I, did I hear that right? You're a big beach. beach you're a beach. beach, beach. <laughs> <laughs> or be a beach as in the beach person. Beach yeah, person. Beach person. Yeah, so okay. Me, Let's family. clarify that. <laughs> My family and I, we we really love like going on road trips and it doesn't take us like long to go yes, to beaches. Yeah. Like, half of them around you know the island is small. It's small. So yes. it's like one hour or two hours we're we're in the beach already enjoying the sun the sand. The sand okay. In the water. So like what's the best beach for you here in Cebu? Pantayan for me. Pantayan, yeah. Pantayan, but, Pantayan yeah, Island. Island? Three yeah. three hours from three hours, here, yeah. four hours. Yeah. But to add to uh, Brian's uh, um yeah, that's true. Cebu City is um specifically three, 30 minutes away if you want to go to a nice beach in mm -hmm. Mactan. Mm -hmm. I myself is an, an avid a scuba diver. Mm -hmm. So on the weekends, um, unlike you guys, you go to Anilao and drive two hours, three hours. We do that here in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. If wow. you also want to do biking up in the hill, it's just 30 minutes, one hour. So I guess that's also one of the benefits living in Cebu, in Cebu City is because you have both worlds yeah. in, in uh, close proximity. So you have the mountains, you have the beaches, yes. everything is within very short drive distances yes. away from so each I other. So I guess it's yeah. better for the mental stress. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, yes. And it's perfect. I mean, this car, that's why it's like for me, it's perfect for Cebu. Cebu, it's yes. Like if you if you like driving bikes, so you can just and fall down. Yeah. If you want to just scuba diving, right? Tag along your friends, along you know. Friends. Just go to the beach. It's not like uh, uh, three hours away, yeah, 30 minutes. You 30 know? minutes so you away. can just go to your friend's house. And, Come on, let's hop in and let's just go to the beach. Then just go, yeah. 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 So this is this is really a good car. For this me. is a good yeah. package. And, yeah. Uh, so speaking of, uh, of food, um, Cebu is not just known for, of course, uh, our lechon is, well, I'm sorry to say, world I'm class. <laughs> um, one of the best. I've also had lechon in Pampanga. Mm. It's it's nice, but Cebu's lechon, kasi you don't need uh, sauce. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, already templado to the bone. Yes. Uh, so that's really the classic Cebuano um, uh, lechon. The, yeah. It's crispy, it's juicy inside, malasa to the bone. That's why I brought my anti-cholesterol medicine. We all have that. Yeah, we And of course, um, there, there's so many things uh, like the kakanins. Um, mm. uh, so much food. So much food. Yeah, so much food. Yeah. Bakasi. 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 Yeah. Bakasi. The eel. Yeah, so, yeah. For yeah. Uh, yeah. vitality. <laughs> Right, right. So uh, for the eel, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're proud that uh, Bourdain uh, feature this in his yes. memoir. So, yes, yeah. That's Cebu in a, in a yeah. So time. yeah, that's a lot of stuff to be proud of here in Cebu, guys. Yeah, you got the beaches, you got the mountains, you got the food, you got the people, of course, and you know, you guys are right the, with the Hyundai Stargazer going on road trips in Cebu. Perfect, absolutely perfect. 
So there you have it guys, uh, I'm going to concentrate now on the drive itself uh, because we still have a long way to go uh, but yes we are here in Cebu, first time ever I'm really really happy that we get to do this drive uh, with uh, Ju, with Brian and with Carl the back and uh, yeah guys um, please uh, subscribe to Reagan's Rides and subscribe to all of our social media platforms and uh, yeah we will see you again in our next video See ya. See ya.